Welcome to Unity with Pam, with your host, Pam Willis Hovey. Now we're getting ready to call Rest Care. Is LaShonda in here? All right, come on up, Miss LaShonda. Good morning, everybody. My name is LaShonda Smith, and I'm the manager of Rest Care Home Care. First, I want to clear up. Home care is different from home health. Home health is when you need a skill. You have uh, IV push, you have uh, wound care, you have uh, just different skills that you do. Home care, what we do is we come into the home and we take care of the elderly and the disabled of all ages, okay? So we have babies and we, have, we just had a party for somebody that was 100 years old. So we take care of all ages. We come into the homes, we can help you with your cooking, your cleaning, if you need to go to the doctor and you know that you've got to work but mom needs to go and you need somebody to go and understand what the doctor is saying, that's what we do, okay? Or if you have your home here and your mom lives on the other side of town and you, you're trying to spread yourself between the two, that's where we come in. We come in and we take care of mom. Um, if she wants to go to church, we can go to church. We can do all kinds of things with you know mom. So if you have any of those type needs, and again, there are other agencies in, in Columbus that are just like Rest Care. Now, I'm gonna tell you, because I work for them, that we're great, because we are, <laughs> okay? But I'm also telling you is, if you don't like Rest Care, there are other agencies. Do not let your family members suffer, or let yourself suffer. Go ahead and call someone to help you with your family members, okay? We take care of the veterans. We take care of just everyday people. We, t we, use, uh, we have grant monies. We have different ways that we could fund this, okay? And then if you're you know, able to pay for it out of your pocket, we accept that as well. But we try, even though you have that, we try to find ways to help you save your money and go with the programs that could cover them, okay? So we don't just say, oh, they can pay for it. Let's just take their money. That's not what we do. We try to make it to where if that program cuts out, you still have that money, you'll, you can continue to take care of your loved ones, okay? Again, I'm LaShonda Smith, Rest Care Home Care. We do have a, a sister company here in Columbus, okay? And it's Rest Care uh, of Georgia, and we, do, we are right now getting into some adoptions. So that's something else if you wanna look into, okay? And, and it's good seeing, this is a good looking group this morning, even though she's talking about my hair, but y'all a good looking group, okay? <laughs> And thank you all. Life insurance, Mr. J. James, State Farm. Come on up. All right, I don't know about y'all, but uh, I gotta tell you, I feel like you should, we all should turn to our neighbor and say, you're at the right place at the right time. Why don't you do that for me here? <laughs> Enjoy that testimony, especially from the folks in Naomi House. And it is good to be here. Um, Columbus Hospice, thank y'all for hosting us today. Um, my father-in-law passed away many years ago, and it wasn't, he was not, not in Columbus, but uh, hospice came in and was just a real blessing to uh, my wife's family uh, and made that just a really easy transition where he was able to pass in peace at his own house. And so what a blessing that is to be able to do that uh, with great care. So thank you for the service you provide. And Pam, you know, what more can we say about Pam? She was, she, that, she's not afraid to pick up the phone and, and get you involved, is she? So, you know. If, if you if you if you can turn down Pam, you're a better man than I am because she is she is great. But uh, Pam asked me to share just a little bit. Uh, I am with State Farm uh, here in Columbus. We do insurance in Georgia and also in Alabama. Um, I have one of the greatest and one of the toughest jobs uh, that you can have because uh, I insure people's most important things. You know, you got that fancy car that you like. I insure that that house that you have. Uh, other things going on, you know. Um, last night I had a customer that got uh, hit by somebody else and I was text messaging them with them through the night. I don't know if you all have a, have a local agent that wants to help you that you can text message at nine o'clock at night and then at nine o'clock say, hey, would you call me? And he'll pick up the phone and call you. But that's how, that's how we do things at my office at JG State Farm. Um, life insurance. Uh, my mother-in-law, my father-in-law passed away about uh, 20 years ago and she has not had to go back to work from that day because they provided for that. And so my office, we provide life insurance for you up to 80 years old, as young as three months old, okay? We do all kind of life insurance policies, term life insurance, whole life. We even have a whole life policy that instead of paying for it for your whole life, you can pay for it for just 10 or 15 or 20 years and not always pay for that. Because you, don't, you want, to, want to imagine the amount of kids that I have whose, whose mom bought them something when they were five years old, and now they're 30 and they go, mom bought that, it's 20 bucks a month, I don't want to pay that anymore. Just, just, I just don't do that. 
but if, they're, if they were to do something where mom did something where they were five years old and then 25 is paid for, is there and can always make sure they can take care of those expenses that go on and make sure things taken care of. We would love to do that uh, for you. Again, as, as has been said before, I think the, the Lord said it himself, it's appointed for a man to die once and then to face the next life. Uh, make sure that you're prepared for that and that you've got your estate in order. We'd love to help you with that. Car insurance, home insurance, whatever it may be. Thank you so much for allowing us to be here, Pam. Farfield Manor, Miss Aretha Richards. She has a good testimony about Columbus Hospice, too. Girl, you're wearing that top now. <laughs> Hi, thank you, Pam. Yes, um, my family's been touched by Columbus Hospice through the years, but most recently is um, the last two years. Uh, in 2013, we lost my father, and he had actually been under hospice care for um, two years. They helped us for two years to prepare for um, his crossing over. And um, it, they, didn't, they did not only help my mother deal with the loss of her soulmate, but helped me as an adult child help my mother to deal with that and then help the grandchildren. So it was a full circle that they were able to uh, minister to us and to help us with that. And then last year, matter of fact, this month, we lost his sister. So they have been a part of our family for a while. Um, but I'm here um, today not only to talk about how they've touched my life, but how they've touched the lives of my residents. And I call them my residents. Um, I'm the manager of Farfield Manor. And Columbus Hospital, uh, Columbus, excuse me, Columbus Hospice has been with um, a part of us for the eight years that we've been in Columbus. And they have many times helped our families. And I say our families because our residents are our family. They are our extended family. Their children become almost like my brothers and sisters. Um, Pam can attest to that. Her mother lived with us for a number of years, and Pam and I knew each other, you know, professionally. But then we got to know each other personally, and um, so knowing her mother, her mother-in-law touched me in a way to where even now, two or three years later, she's still with me, and she's still with our residents. But at Farfield Manor, um, we offer affordable housing for seniors who are 62 and older. So one bedroom, one bath apartment home that's based on income. And we are located at 419 Far Road. Anybody been up and down Far Road and you see that building that looks like a hotel? Well, that's us, it's an apartment, it's not a hotel. Um, we have three floors and we have 74 beautiful apartments. And again, they're one bedroom, one bath for those who are 62 and older. So please give us a call at 706 687-1842 and we'd love to help you. Thank you. Unity with Pam is being brought to you by these great sponsors. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. A new book by author Pam Willis Hovey is now available. This story of a young Joanna and her journey of love will have you excited with the turn of every page. Shoulda, woulda, coulda is available for purchase through Amazon and at unitywithpam.org. You do know the experts at Midas will tell you what needs fixing now and what can wait, right? Like, I don't know, brakes? Of course I do. Trust the Midas Touch for brakes, tires, oil, everything. Come into Chester's Barbecue for our world famous mouth watering ribs, smoked fresh on our grill daily, or try one of our barbecue pork plates with fresh sides. Chester's has delicious sandwich combos to choose from that are sure to please. We also serve tempting home-cooked favorites. And don't forget to take home your own bottle of great sauce. Chester's Barbecue, serving the best food at the best price. With three locations to serve you. When your child is sick, you take them to the doctor, right? Well, at Zoe Pediatrics, we don't just take care of sick kids. We want to keep the healthy ones healthy. At Zoe Pediatrics, we're in the business of prevention. We would love if when our children are 100 years old, they could say they were never sick a day in their life because of what they learned at Zoe Pediatrics. Don't wait for sickness. Children don't have to be sick to get better. Good doctors treat illness. Really great doctors prevent disease. Zoe Pediatrics, 10th Avenue at 17th Street. I'm a fan of this plateau. I'm a fan of things that go. I'm a fan of all things kitschy. I'm a fan of Lionel Richie. Hello. I'm a fan. Thanks. DQ Bakes. I'm a fan of warm chip butter. I'm a fan of cold 
cold and hotter. Melty snacks, on my snack break. I'm a fan of DQ Bakes. New artisan style sandwiches, snack belts, and desserts. Hot out of the oven and only at your DQ. This is fan food, not fast food. I'm a fan. Welcome to Unity with Pam with your host, Pam Willis Hovey. Um, I'm looking for, and she's right in my eyesight, River Valley Area on Agency. Everybody love Miss Tamika. She is the hookup queen for our senior community. You're welcome. Thank you so much for allowing me to speak today. My name is Shamika Averett, and I'm from the River Valley Area Agency on Aging. We're located here in Columbus off 2nd Avenue. I see a lot of my friends that are here. They always are out in the community, so I'm happy to see them. Um, I am the Georgia CARES counselor, so I'll just get right into it. I do Medicare counseling. If you have this card, people get Medicare and Medicaid confused all the time, so I have to have my little visual. If you have this card, it's the red, white, and blue card you get when you turn 65 or if you're under 65 and disabled this is what I do I am a certified Medicare counselor across our 16 county area that we serve from Harris County all the way down to Clay County so it's a huge area and I have my volunteer coordinator Linda Harris who helps me out with that but our main focus is helping folks with their Medicare open enrollment for Medicare started October 15th and it ends on December 7th if you know somebody if you are on Medicare and if you need help with your Medicare options, please call us. We can help you navigate through the Medicare maze. I can log on to Medicare.gov for you, find plans for you, do plan comparisons, help you with all of your Medicare options. So, hey, Marie. <laughs> So um, please call us and we can assist you with your Medicare options. One of the main things that we're focusing on right now is educating not only about Medicare, but also about Medicare fraud. Because now is the time of year where folks call you on the phone and they want to get your information, they want to tap into your, your bank account and things like that and be educated about fraud, Medicare fraud, as well as the Medicare program. So if you have this card, stop by my table outside, get some information. If you know of someone you're helping, if you're a caregiver and you're helping someone with their Medicare, stop by my table, I'll give you information. And of course, Medicare covers everything that's hospice related to your hospice uh, diagnosis. Or while you're in hospice, Medicare covers 100% of your services if you're on hospice. So that's a good thing to think about because when you have a loved one that's already sick, you don't want to have to worry about them having to pay for their services. So Medicare covers those services 100%. So again, I'm Shamika Averitt. I'm with the Georgia Cares Program, and I'm also with the River Valley Area Agency on Aging. I've got my uh, new director here with me. She's back in the back hanging out. Her name is Katie Howard. We're making a move right now we're moving from second avenue to front avenue so we'll be right across from the coca-cola space science center so we have a 25,000 square foot building right now we're in a historic building which is great we, i've been there for the past eight years and i know katie's been there a little bit longer than me so we're ready to transition to our new building but again we'll all have our own offices and we'll have um some great more room some parking down there for you guys so stop by and see us if you need help or um or any assistance We've got, um, I think I might have said this, is it Country Financial Quincy? I did get it right. All right, Mr. Quincy is coming up, Country Financial. We all, we all need to know how to deal with our finances. I'd like to first begin by saying hello to everybody. Hello. Yes, yes, and thank you Columbus Hospice for um, putting this event together, and Pam, thank you for um, inviting me, most definitely. Um, again, my name is uh, Quincy Wade. I'm with uh, Country Financial. I have my partner back there, Mr. Jim Smith. And we are in the financial services industry. Basically, what that means is that we help people um, protect their income. We help them um, get out of debt, build um, an emergency fund, and also um, help them plan for retirement. All right? And at Country Financial, we call this your financial house. All right? And just like with any other house, you can't build without a proper foundation. And when it comes to a foundation of your financial house, it all begins with protecting your income by way of various insurance products, such as long-term care and um, life insurance. All right, and um, the thing is, we always have to ask ourselves, do we have our financial house in order? According to lifehappens.org, only 44% of Americans have life insurance. And only half of those feel that they even have enough. Where do we fit in, that, in, that, in, that, in those statistics? Do we have it? Do we have enough? All right, so that's the question we always have to ask ourselves. And when it comes 
to um, this thing with life insurance, we have to ask ourselves two questions. The first question is, what is the financial impact on my family if something were to happen to me? You know, what would happen to my wife? What would happen to my children? What would happen to your husbands? All right, and the second question you have to ask yourself is, do you care? And I believe that we all care. We all do. So we have to make it a point, you know, to sit down, you know, with your financial representative, um, such as myself, Quincy Wade, or um, Jim Smith, to make sure that you have your financial house in order. Thank you. All right. Of course, I alluded to that at the beginning of the show. Tomorrow is Veterans Day. And we're going to talk about veterans. State Commander Charles Waugh, is he here? You got his back. Oh, well, come on. Good morning. Uh, my name is William Epps Jr. I'm actually the uh, chapter commander for uh, DAV Chapter 66, which is located in Phoenix City. Uh, Charles Wall, our <laughs> state commander, uh, actually is a disabled veteran himself, 100%. So combat veteran. So with that comes, of course, comes some illnesses and stuff at times, which uh, prohibits him from being able to move around at certain times. But uh, at any way, uh, my only uh, uh, I guess relationship or that I ever had with Columbus Hospice, Hospice probably was about five years ago when a retired uh, master sergeant passed away here. It was a friend of the family, and uh, we came by uh, to see him, and uh, they have provided excellent services for him. I have to say that. And one of the things that everyone is talking about is the finance, and I'm so glad that he had his finances in order because he didn't have any problems. But what we are, are experiencing now uh, and most recently, uh, we went up to uh, Anniston, Alabama, and it was a, we, went, we had an event at the uh, Golden Corral, and there was a lady in there, and uh, she pulled up in this beautiful Cadillac, and I said, what's she doing? And she got out, and she went to work. But then when I started talking to her, come out, found out that her husband had passed two weeks ago, and <clears throat> he was 100% service-connected, but you know what? She, and he died of a service-connected condition, but she did not know that she was eligible to receive some benefits because he was 100% service-connected and he desired, died from a, a service-connected disease. So she was still in talking about, son, I'm trying to make it. I'm trying to put the ends together. But when we finished talking to her, you know, she knew where she could go and what she needed to do to get her some help in that, and end some of that suffering that she was going through. So I think that's really where we come in, into play uh, when you start talking about the service organizations, where it be us or this uh, American Legion or whoever, is that if you're service connected, please stop by and talk to someone and you know, uh, be made aware of the, uh, some of the benefits that are available to you. Uh, we've also encountered twice within the last three months, uh, speaking of those finances and getting yourself in order, uh, Taylor, if you're on home back there, we've had two deaths and no insurance. So, you know, we don't have a lot of money, but, you know, we were able to get some funds together and make a donation so that that family could go ahead and bury their, uh, bury their loved ones. Because if you know you don't have the money, you know, the body sits there for a while until you can come up with the money. So make sure you got, if you're, if you're a veteran, you got service connected, or you got questions about your claims, uh, disability claims, Please go by and check with uh, disabled American veterans or one some service organization so that you can get the entitlements rightfully due to you. Thank you. Unity with Pam is being brought to you by these great sponsors. Come on in to Sugars for a sweet taste of Southern cooking. You will be taken back to Sunday dinner at Grandma's house with everybody. Daily special serving fried chicken, collards, black eyed peas, also melt in your mouth cornbread. You will want to ask for seconds. Also try one of our homemade desserts. You will be in sweet, sweet heaven. Sugars offers catering for all your corporate, church, and family gatherings. They would do all the work and save you all the trouble. Sugars, a taste of Southern cooking. Hello, I'm Pastor Willis. And I'm Co-Pastor Emma Willis. And we welcome you to be a part of our ministry. We have a wonderful, illustrated teaching and preaching we want to share with you. And, and also we sharing with you our dance ministry and also our choir and our outreach ministry. And we have a wonderful Sunday school and we welcome you to come and be a part of this ministry. God bless you. 
For over 25 years, the Bug Patrol at All-Star Pest Control has protected thousands of families' homes from pests and rodents. Although most treatments have no odor and are environmentally friendly, our high-technology products and methods get absolute results. And we guarantee it! All-Star Pest Control, over 25 years of guaranteed protection. The average home has more than five devices connected to the internet. Is your internet strong enough to keep up? At WOW, we can boost your internet with speeds up to 110 megabits per second. So you can handle it all, and then some. That's WOW, not what you'd expect from a cable company. Find your perfect speed at WOWWay.com. Welcome to Unity with Pam, with your host, Pam willis Hovey. Do we have United Way here? Miss Candace Bull, come on forward. Thank you guys very much for uh, having us today. Columbus Hospice has always been a wonderful United Way partner. Um, we've been partnering together for as long as I can remember. Um, wanted to talk to you a little bit about 211, give you some updates from the last time that I was here. Um, we're coming into our first anniversary. November 17th, we'll have been taking calls on the 211 line for a year. We've been answering a little over 500 calls a month and putting people in touch with the services in the community that they need. Most of the calls that we get are for basic needs, rent, utility assistance, food, clothing, shelter. Those are most of the calls that we get, but we get so many calls. Um, and I remember very vividly last year around Christmas, looking at some of the calls that came in in the grief counseling calls, people looking where they could get counseling because they were alone at the holidays. And so that really touched me when you were talking about it earlier because I still remember seeing those calls come in so clearly. Um, the one thing that I'm gonna ask of you today is if you are working with an agency and there are so many agencies here represented that are doing fabulous things in our community. If you are not in the 211 system and you're not available for callers, why? Ask yourself, why aren't you listed with 211? Because we're the 24 hour a day means for anyone in our community to be connected with the services that's gonna make their lives better. So please, if you're working with an, you know, an agency or if it's a church that provides you know, holiday assistance, uh, food baskets, clothing, there are so many people in our community in need who you don't realize that a food basket that might supplement your food for a week where you don't have to buy groceries, that means you get to pay your electricity bill that month. And that, it's the greatest need out there. So even though you think your church might not be doing a lot, you're making a difference to somebody in somebody's life. And while it might be, you might be able to pay $50 towards somebody's electricity bill, you might not be able to help everybody, but trust me, there is a person out there who only needs that $50. And they are looking for the help. So please, um, you know, let people know about the 211 line. It is there 24 hours a day, seven days a week if you need information. But if you want to give help as well, please make sure that your services are listed in 211 or if you want to volunteer or have donations that you can give to an agency, we also list those as well. Um, Pam, thank you for continuing to have this forum so people know what's going on in the community and know where they can make their lives a little better. Thank you, guys. Now we're going to have a testimony from my father, Pastor Willie Willis Jr. of the Move of God Ministries. Amen. I'm trying to keep myself together here. But as a testimony for how Columbus Hospice was a blessing unto me uh, with my mother because they made a difference in a way as a pastor because there were times we had to be out of time for at least three days and they made a way, thank God for uh, Miss Hill here. They made a way for the keep mother until we got back. We tried to take my mom everywhere we go but there were some places we couldn't take mama because uh, me being a pastor, I couldn't do that. But they was a blessing unto me that they was able to put in place uh, that my mother could be here, be right here in, in the safety of hospice. And I thank God for that. 
and, 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 and I recommend hospice to all pastors. <laughs> yes, Lord. I, I'm trying to be cool here. But I, I rec recommend hospice for all pastors. <laughs> Glory to God, because that's a fantastic thing. Glory to God to have somebody to be a blessing in your life when you do have that time where you don't hardly have no time. And they even made time for me and my wife to have a, a wonderful honeymoon. <laughs> Glory to God. Yes, they did. In other words, we've been married 45 years and we still have honeymoons. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. I'm trying to. Yes, Lord. So they made it possible, amen, for that to be done. And, I, and you know, I enjoyed it too. Amen, because even though you have loved ones that is, uh, they in bad health, you need that personal time to enjoy yourself. And they make that time possible. Amen. So I thank God for them being here for us at that particular time. And, and, and they made Mama so happy. They just, oh, and when, when, when I come to visit Mama, I hate to leave Mom because she come around and so, uh, Yes, yes, because she was in a happy place. You know, you don't want to leave your loved one in a place where it looked like they go, oh, Lord, I just uh, going to take me off and put me over there. But they made her feel at home. And that's my testimony, how good to have someone on your side that can make your life a blessing because your life is so tied up your time is so tied up till a lot of times you don't have the time. But they made provision where you can have the time. That's when I brought up a honeymoon. <laughs> Y'all don't believe folks after 45 years of marriage have honeymoons. Y'all know. I realize I got another timekeeper, David, and whenever I'm preaching somewhere, I have a, a person sitting in the corner over there. That's my wife, she say. <laughs> I know to cut the message off. <laughs> Glory to God. Thank God. Thank God for hospice. Thank God for my daughter, Unity. Glory to God. Thank God for everybody. Amen. Thank you for watching Unity with Pam. If you would like to be a sponsor, please contact us or visit unitywithpam.org.